Welcome to Recap Buddy. Today I have brought you an Italian erotic drama film released in 1991 titled Paprika. Spoiler alert and I hope you like it. The movie starts with our protagonist Mima, young naive girl who goes to meet Nino, her fiance. He takes Mima to a brothel establishment and convinces her to earn as much money as possible so that they can lead a happy life together. Before Nino leaves, he promises Mima that he will return for her in 2 weeks. Mima enters the establishment where she meets Madam Colette, the brothel's manager. Madam Colette is pleased with her appearance and believes she will do wonders. Mima tells her that she has no experience, but Madam Colette assures her that one day in the establishment is worth 10 years outside and asks her to not worry. Madam Colette takes Mima to her new room and informs her that she is not allowed to refuse any customer unless they are related and she will get one day off every week. She then introduces Mima to the rest of the prostitutes and gives her the name Paprika which will be her professional name. They all welcome her and warn her about the challenges she will face here. Paprika goes to see the doctor once he arrives for a mandatory health checkup. When he learns that Paprika is new to the business, he asks her why she chose to become a prostitute, to which Paprika responds with personal family reasons. But the doctor sees through her lies and tells her that she has no idea how many women have told the same story. So Paprika finally reveals she wants to earn fast cash in 2 weeks for her fiance and they soon get married. The doctor thinks that Nino may be a pimp and warns her that she may be getting cheated. But Paprika trusts Nino and believes that he will surely come for her. Following the examination, Paprika joins the brothel. It doesn't take long for her to find a customer on her first day as Franco, a young handsome guy, picks her. She brings him into her room where they sleep together. Paprika is happy with her first experience, but Madam Colette reminds her that not all of her customers will be as nice as him. Paprika gets many clients who are drawn to her beauty. By the end of 2 weeks, she had become one of Madam Colette's top performers, earning as much as 3 girls. Franco continues to meet with Paprika on a regular basis and eventually becomes her favorite. He tells Paprika that they have great chemistry and asks her out for a dinner. But Paprika reminds him that it has been 2 weeks and Nico promised to come and meet her. However, the next day, Nino was not able to make it due to business commitments. As a result, Paprika decides to go on dinner with Franco instead. While they are having dinner, she catches Nino with another girl. She confronts them and informs the girl that she is Nino's fiance. The girl, however, laughs at her and claims that she and Nino have been dating for 3 years. After learning the truth about Nino, the girl shouts at him and leaves. Instead of comforting Paprika, Nino ignores her and goes after the girl. She realizes Nino does not love her but is only using her. She returns to Franco who comforts her and takes her to his place where they have sex as lovers rather than customers. The next day, Franco expresses his love for Paprika and his plans to marry her. But Paprika rejects him, saying that she no longer believes in love and her only goal now is to make as much money as possible. She tells Madam Colette about Nico, who then warns her not to fall in love with any men like that again. Nino arrives at the establishment to see Paprika. He orders her to give him 60% of her earnings as commission and reveals that he had no intention of marrying her and only wanted her to earn money as a prostitute for him. Paprika tells Madam Colette and she promises to help her. A few hours later, the brothel's boss comes to the house. He immediately attracted to her and offers her protection from Nino. We then see Rocco, the pimp for one of the prostitutes, who has come to take his commission. He takes her into one of the rooms and beats her for not paying him commission. After seeing her friend like this, Paprika is worried because she fears the same thing may happen to her. She then talked to her friend Gina about her intention to quit. Gina suggests her to work in a club since they pay well and she gives her the list of clubs she knows in Milan. So Paprika decides to quit and leave the city to begin a new life. While traveling on the train, she meets Rocco. He recognizes her and walks up to her, only to get shouted at by Paprika for beating one of her friends. She then adds that she has left the establishment and is no longer a prostitute. But Rocco ignores her words and forcefully takes her to the bathroom. She tries to resist him but eventually gives in and they mate on the train. They get in Rocco's apartment and mate all night. The next day while she is getting ready for a job interview, Rocco finds the club names and offers to accompany her, but Paprika decides to go alone. To stop her from getting any job, Rocco calls the club managers and tells them not to hire her. 
As a result, Paprika was rejected by every club. Rocco tries to persuade her to work in a wealthy brothel, where she can make a lot of money. She is hesitant at first but falls for Rocco's words and decides to try his offer. Rocco takes her to meet Milvio, Italy's biggest pimp. He is impressed by Paprika's body shape and recommends that she work under Madame Olympia. It doesn't take long for her to find customers because everyone loves Paprika. One day, she runs into her uncle in the brothel and tries to avoid him, but he is fixated on her. Despite knowing Paprika is his niece, he approaches her and asks her to accompany him. He then blackmails her and sleeps with her for free. When Rocco arrives to collect his commission from Paprika, he is unhappy with her performance. She disagrees, telling him about her uncle, who visits her every day but never pays her and wastes time. So Rocco tells her to invite her uncle to a cafe. While sitting in a cafe, her uncle demands she expose herself to other men and earn him money for his gambling. Meanwhile, Rocco enters the cafe with his men to scare her uncle, telling him to leave Paprika alone and never to see her again. Paprika is grateful that her uncle has gone. Rocco informs her that he has arranged a foursome with Prince Brando and his wife. Paprika and her new friend Bieber arrives at the mansion. They take some drugs, drink some wine, and enjoy their time with Prince Brando and his wife. While returning, Bieber starts coughing up blood and blaming it on too much wine. Paprika gets a letter from Franco, who is still madly in love with her. She notifies Madame Olympia that she wishes to quit and wants to see him. Madame Olympia informs her the government is planning to shut down all brothels and make prostitution illegal. So she advises Paprika to earn as much as she can now. Meanwhile, Bieber is extremely sick and dies. Paprika is terrified that she will suffer the same fate, so she informs Rocco that she is going to quit. But he is not in the mood to let her go, and threatens to hurt her if she quits. When he pulled out his knife, the crowd gathered and the police arrested him. Madame Olympia advises Paprika to report him or else Rocco will be released in a few days. But Paprika doesn't care and decides to quit as she doesn't want to meet the same fate as Bieber. She has moved to Marseille and has started a new life. She is now completely free and can do anything she wants. While dancing at a bar, she meets Franco after a long time. They still have feeling for each other and started mating on a beach, where Franco tells Paprika about his plan to buy a boat and sail around the world. However, we can see her back in brothel establishment and tell Gina that Franco's boat has been mortgaged and police have seized it. Franco has escaped, and Paprika is now broke once again. One day, Count Bastiano, a rich businessman, arrives at the brothel to turn his son into a man. He picks Paprika to do the honours. The next day, Count invited Paprika to his party because of her amazing performance. There she meets an old customer of her, who wishes to sleep with her. When Count notices them heading to the basement, he follows them and finds them hooking up. He then fires him and continues to mate with her, and is so impressed with her that he suggests they should get married. The Count introduces Paprika to his family, who are not happy with his decision, except for all the men when she gets naked in front of them. Unfortunately, the Count died of old age shortly after they married. But Paprika is pleased that the Count included her in his will before passing away. While reading the condolence postcard, she finds a letter from Franco congratulating her on her wedding. She also hears that Merlin law has been approved, and all brothel establishments will be permanently closed. So she returns to Madame Colette to say her goodbyes, and work as a prostitute one last time for free. Madame Colette is worried about the spread of disease and misbehavior on the streets. Now that Paprika is wealthy, she marries Franco and gifts him a boat. She ultimately achieved everything she desired, wealth, freedom, and her one true love. If you enjoyed the content make sure to like and subscribe for more amazing videos.